Hi, this is John Grillo from johngrillomusic.com. I'm going to give you some instructional stuff on paradiddles and how to use them. And uh, when you get really experienced, you can stick the bird on your shoulder like I have. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to show you is a basic paradiddle that hopefully you know how to do. The right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. Very easy, right? Playing on two different surfaces. Okay, now we're going to have the bass drum just on the one of the one end. Pretty easy, right? Now, we're going to hit it on the three and the one. Still pretty easy. Okay. Now we're going to drop the left hand on the two and the four. Still pretty easy. If I double time it. Also, I drop my bass drum on the one end and then the end. Or the one end. Okay, so another thing you can do with the paradiddle is you can play a constant bass drum. But sometimes they call it an ostinato bass drum. We are going like this. Okay, in addition to using that paradiddle and an ostinato bass drum, you start changing your hands around the set, you get different sounds. For instance, demonstrated just a paradiddle, but I'm changing a rim, tom, snare, whatever works with that constant bass drum going. Now if I add my hi-hat, as you get more advanced, if you splash the hi-hat, you can get different sounds, which I'll demonstrate in one second. Okay, so as I said, splashing the hi-hat is kind of cool if you can do it, or you can just play straight quarters or eighths, but I like to splash it to give this kind of effect. <laughs> incorporate that. It's kind of funky. I kind of like it better, but it's a little more confusing if you're not used to what you're playing. That sounds nice fast. stuff. You can do a lot of different things, different speeds, a little more advanced stuff, and stuff that's not so restricted to the simple same bass drum or a repetitive bass drum. You just drop it in wherever you want.
that, and see you next time.